Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. All for the Tough Enough Women's Bantamweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of five wins and three losses. Fighting out of MMA Gold, El Dorado Hills, California. Make some noise for our lead, Cole Her opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of four wins and two losses. Fighting out of Syndicate MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. Serena, the Southpaw Outlaw, De Jesus. Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. Ladies, given the rules, I expect your opponent to protect yourselves at all times. Fight with honor, fight with respect, fight hard, leave it all in the cage. Good luck. Three three minute rounds. Cole Breath is wearing the black on black. De Jesus is wearing the black and blue. Women's bantamweight title is on the line here at Tough Enough. Cold Breath opens up with an outside leg kick that just graces. Both fighters feeling out their range right now. De Jesus goes for a big kick that just misses. Cold Breath there with a big right hand follows another one. De Jesus throwing those jump kicks. Yeah, it's not that often in, uh, in mixed martial arts that you see the switch kick thrown, but she is feeling pretty comfortable throwing him so far. And that one caught Colbreth's attention. Yeah, Colbreth, you know, she made a joke about having T-Rex arms, but so far it does appear that some of her punches are landing short of the mark, and it's because she is at a reach disadvantage. She's going to have to figure out a way to get inside. She does have that strong looping right. If she can land it, connects a little bit there with De Jesus. Finding a range with her leg kicks. Just over halfway through this first round. De Jesus doing a good job staying on the outside of Colbreth, though. She knows she's got the reach advantage. Crowd getting a little restless here. It's a long fight, though. Big right there by Colbreth. Yeah, so the early takeaway that I'm seeing here is that is that Colbreth definitely is starting to look a little bit winded, and De Jesus is finding her range. Yeah. Even though Colbreth was firing a lot of leg kicks early on, and still is, the look on her face is a bit more pain than De Jesus, who just seems to be using the method of, of letting this round play out a little bit to find her her footing, and she's starting to land more significant shots. And Days Hayes, who's just picking her shots right now. Really, there's no real motivation or no real fire behind her right now. She knows she's still got a lot of time, and she can see that Colbreth is slowing down a little bit. But Colbreth, Colbreth is yeah, she's is pushing, pushing in. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Tough first round to score, I think. Not, I mean, there wasn't a ton of action. Yeah, no, I, I, th I think you're right. Um, De Jesus, in my opinion, won the round, though, because she landed the more significant strikes. Yeah. You know, she she seemed to be more in control. Like, Culberth, Culberth rather had some, had some nice bursts, but overall she threw a lot of punches that, did, that, that came up short. You know, pardon the pun because she was joking about the length of her arms, but they really literally were coming up short. Yep. And so she, uh, 
she wasn't able to connect, in my opinion, with anything that was really that meaningful. And so De Jesus, I think, just very calmly won that first round, even though outside of those switch kicks didn't do anything that was that flashy. And you can see uh, Cobra not taking the entire time to take the stool. She got up about 30 seconds after sitting down, so think she has the gas in the tank? Maybe. We'll see. Cage doors closed. Round number two. Women's bantamweight title is on the line here at Tough Enough. Sold out Thomas and Mack. And Cole Breath is pushing forward. Eats a couple of punches in the process. But they're those same sorts of punches that you were mentioning in round number one, Mahoney, that are, there's not a lot of intent behind them. They're just sort of like lazy jab type punches that don't really have a lot of potential to even be anything close to a finishing punch. It's almost like the sort of punch that you'd throw in sparring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're at a, Colbert is at a distinct disadvantage with that length. She really has to just bum rush De Jesus to even think about landing something. Because De Jesus' length is just so far, so much longer than hers. Now she lands a couple right there. Gets inside. Big oh, shot she's by De big Jesus. Shots. Big, yeah. big shots. Cole Breath is in trouble here. She ate a lot of punches in that exchange. And you know, she's still moving forward and, and throwing punches and kicks, but I imagine that had to take something she's out tough. of her. She's tough. She lands a big Man. right. Now she's getting inside on De Jesus. You see the face of Cole Breath, though. It's, it, it's starting to red. But, man, you're right, Mahoney. Like she is. She's throwing with the, with the bad intentions here. Absolutely. De Jesus still staying very calm. Ooh. Yeah, we see these bursts from Colbert, but she's effective when, when, she, when, she, when she can push De Jesus up against the corner and, and just close that distance. But she has to swarm. And De Jesus has a good jab, too, so less it's than hard a to minute, get in. Less than a minute remaining here in round number two, and you're right, it is hard to get in, but what I'd like to see Cold breath start to do is throw more than just punches, uh, you know, that, that number in the two to three range. So she'll come in and she'll throw a jab and then she'll throw a one, two, and then stop. If she wants to be effective, she has to back to Jesus up and get that reach advantage negated, find a way to get inside. Colbert is slowing down a little bit, even more so. Again, De, De, De Jesus just not like, doesn't feel the need to just go in for the kill. She's just picking her shots, which is smart. Keeps herself out of harm's way because she knows that the reach of Colbert isn't going to be able to hurt her if she doesn't let it. So they both traded flurries in that round. It, yep. it, it's kind of the same sort of thing where I think that De Jesus won the round. She appeared to be in control. Colbert definitely slowed down in that round, but both fighters at different points. I mean, that was that was the moment where Colbert really looked to be in trouble, but then she fired right back with this combination and she landed a couple where De Jesus was the one covering up and she looked like she could have been relatively close to being finished. Jesus still very calm in her corner. She gets some advice from John Wood. A lot of eyes on this fight tonight. A lot of pressure. Going into the third and final round. This one is for all the beans. Who is going to walk out of here? The women's bantamweight champion of Tough Enough. It's time to find out. Third and final round. Here we go. De Jesus is wearing the black, and the blue. Cold Breath is wearing the black on black. De 
Jesus starting to throw with some intention. Not that she was intentionally throttling back earlier in the fight, but now it just seems like she's turned it up a bit. Changing body kicks. Culver's got her mouth open, <laughs> slowing down. Still trying to push forward, though. Less than 90 seconds left in this title fight. Colbreth finds a little burst there, does a nice job getting inside, lands a couple of shots. DeJesus tries to fire back with a kick, and Colbreth shakes her off. Yeah, DeJesus just, again, just kind of picking her shots, taking them where she can, staying out of harm's way, landing some good body kicks. That one looked like it may have hurt Colbreth. A couple of punches there go unanswered. Colbreth trying to get her way out of the corner with a teat. Having a problem. Well. Uh-oh. Went for a spinning back fist and it got, didn't work. Got caught. I mean, DeJesus just seems in as fresh as she was as soon as this fight started. You know, she really, we haven't seen any massive, massive flurries from her, but I don't think we need to see that from her. If she just, you know, I think she knows that she's winning this fight. Crowd's getting a little bit restless, but the Jesus, like you said, picking her shots, very calm, picking very up collected. Kicks, going after the knees. And the switch kick, big uppercut, here we go. Oh, she could be in big trouble here. The Jesus is starting to pour it on. Colbreth ties her up. It's the final seconds of the fight. That's the end. De Jesus takes round number three, in my opinion, and is going to get the clean sweep. Who knows what the judges saw, but I think that's a fairly easy victory for Serena De Jesus and Syndicate MMA. See De Jesus very happy with her performance tonight. Let out a big yell right after the match got over. It's a big breast there by Colbert. Push forward. She just, like she said, she just did not have the reach. And De Jesus used every inch of her reach to keep her at bay. Yeah, I mean it's good game planning on the part of Syndicate and and the squad over there. They knew that they were going to have a significant reach advantage, and you know just stay on the outside and pick your shots, and that's exactly what she did. And I would say that she's certainly confident that she got herself the victory tonight. Justin Bernard with the official decision inside the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for your winner by unanimous decision and new tough enough bantamweight champion, Serena, the Southpaw. Serena, here inside the cage with your winner. Last time you were at Thomas and Mac, it didn't really work out your way, but you climbed your way to the top. You worked hard, you grinded, your team at Syndicate, and now you're here standing in the cage with the medal around your waist. How great does it feel? This is amazing. I've been working so hard since the last time I was here to get this. Um, hats off to her. She's like a really tough fighter. And if she wants us to have some beers later, I mean, I'm all game. I mean, so I work really hard. I got to thank my, my coaches. This is also my uh, coach John's birthday, so I kind of need a little help, guys. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear 